Uh, it's time for another math easy solution here and discuss another Microsoft Excel tutorial and basically look at the graphing too many data points problem. Uh, first of all, I just want to say that uh, this maximum data points in one series is 32,000 in a series is basically what any what curve or line like this one here. So it's 32,000. But then the problem here is uh, like this one, as you can see, I'm graphing this X and Y column right here and it, it stops around 32,000 as, as it should. But the thing is I have in this table almost 100,000 data points. So it's not graphing the rest and uh, well, it's supposed to be a continuous line like this. It's gonna be a straight line counting up one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 100,000-ish. So basically I wanna graph the rest, but the, the way to do that because it's, it's cutting off 32,000 is, is a lot of these data points is, is all similar. So we could, we could like skip some if we can sort it out and then we could actually graph it. So the way to do that first is <clears throat> first make it a table. Yeah, like I showed in my earlier video, what you can do is just highlight all of this and go to insert select table. So you make an automatic table where you could sort and the graph changes accordingly. So I just want to change the format, make it look like that. So right now it's yeah so just a table so you can see more on that in video links below on automatic table. So the first thing to do is actually just insert a column. I don't know why it's not showing on the screen. But anyways, you insert a column. I'll just call, call this sort one. So basically there's several ways of sorting. I'll go to the easy one and that's basically if you use the is even function and then use it for this the row right beside it at a y. So I just press right. So it just returns if it's if it's even it will be a true if it's if, if it's uh, odd it will be basically false. Yeah, so basically we could use this to sort by clicking with automatic tables. If you click this one here, instead of showing all, we just show let's say false. So it ignores all of the even numbers. And as you can see here, we got up to sixty thousand. Yeah, 60 uh, or 65,000 data points. We're getting close right here. It, it actually shrunk here because we're, as you can see from this left one, we're hiding all of the, uh, all of the odd. I mean, all the even numbers right here. And uh, that's why this, this, uh, these links that I have are cut off. And then there are shift to the regs. We insert a new row, so we just make it a bit bigger. So as you can see, it goes to 60,000. We want, but we want more of it because right now this is around half of 100,000. It's around 50,000. Well, that is still. Uh, that's still too uh, too much data points. So uh, another way of sorting is actually yeah, is actually a, a better way I found is if you just click another insert columns to the left and we'll call this sort two yeah sort two, and this one's actually a really interesting way of sorting. So instead of going true false true false, we can make it count let's say to ten or something. First let's go back to select all. So now we show all of it, and as you see, it goes to 35,000, and it stretched this up because, well, we're not hiding it anymore. So a better way of doing this is actually if you go, let's go equals um, <clears throat> if, we use an if statement, you can see more on this in the video link below, and basically let's go with is error. I just have, this This just returns if it's an error, if it's any one of these uh, hashtag na, et cetera, value, et cetera. <clears throat> this is a pretty good method. So we go is error this, or uh, actually we don't need the <clears throat> the title. We we'll just go with d5. If d5 is plus one, if that's an error, because it's going to be an error. Sort two is not a number, so it's going to give an error. So if it's an error, we just go to one. Otherwise, we just go d5 uh, plus. Yeah, otherwise <clears throat> d5 plus one but this is going to count up forever so so we need to actually add another statement here we'll use an or this is, a, this is getting pretty complicated but once you get understand it it's pretty it's pretty useful so or just makes it instead of this so we'll we could have multiple uh if it's true or false so if this error comes up it's gonna be false or if we have let's say d5 equals uh 10. so if it's equal so it counts up to 10 so d5 plus one uh, and then it, once it counts to 10, it will co count back to 1 right here. So enter. So as you can see, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 10. It goes back to, down to 10. I just want to go over this uh, again just to make sure you uh, understand. So we use an if statement. So if or, so now there's an or inside, basically, if there's an error with adding up the top row plus 1, then we go to 1. Or if D5 or the one on top is equal to 10, we go back to 1. And then otherwise, we just count up. So that's all this if statement does. 
and now we could have more control in our sorting because as you see this is a, we click this one here so now we could sort between uh let's just deselect them all let's just go to one two or uh, let's go one three seven right here so we'll only show three of these so this would be around thirty thousand data points remember this is a hundred thousand so now we have around thirty thousand as you can see there's our graph right here uh, stretch it back up because it's never just hiding uh, the key one so when you hide it it shrink shrinks it so as you can see there's around hundred thousand and it looks pretty much the same thing but we've only graphed thirty thousand data points so this is all of the data and we don't when we've basically overcome this too many data points problem but if we don't have all the points but we don't they usually don't need especially when you have such such a large amount of data points so as you can see this is pretty useful well, anyways, that is all for today. Hopefully, you'll learn from this. Just make sure you understand this uh, sorting one right here. And also, watch the earlier videos on Microsoft Excel. A lot of useful tutorials in the description below. Anyways, and you can also download, download these exact uh, this exact Excel file in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.